Hello everyone, I am so excited to have you here today. As you know, it's the big day 118 launch. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. So today is gonna be sort of an introduction. Wait, first of all, yes, I'm on my alt. <laughs> I look different because I'm not on JD. I am on my alt, Jane Dreamberg. Um, okay, anyway, so this is kind of gonna be a tutorial for you on how the questing works, kind of the steps to take and I'm gonna show you some important things to note. I don't wanna to spoil too much because I do want you to have your own experience, but at the same time, I don't want you to be confused either. So this is just kind of a guide for you. Hopefully we have a lot of fun. Hopefully everything works. <laughs> Fingers crossed that everything goes well. Let's get right into this. So this is where you will spawn in. Yes, it is my barn or a copy of my barn, I guess. So let's go ahead and, oh, first of all, let's look at this button. Already been through the tutorial, press button. So that is because if for some reason you die before you're able to save a new spawn point and you end up back here, you can just click this and leave. If I click it now, nothing's gonna happen because I haven't done this yet. So anyway, that's that. So let's go forward. Oh, something happened. Wait, you just completed a quest. Use the book you just got to open your quest log. You can click on the quest to read what to do. Home key will also bring up your quest log. Okay. Aha, so here's the quests. Okay, uh, be sure to accept rewards as you go and good luck. So right now I can't go anywhere as you can see, but that's because I need to do what the directions are telling me. So this is the animal dictionary for Alex's mobs, but this is the quest book. So let's see. Wow, quests. Read the signs on the barn. Okay, I did that. <laughs> Click on your reward in this quest that has the exclamation point to receive it and progress through the barrier. Welcome to the tutorial. Good luck on your quiz. Ooh, a quiz. So we'll get the stone hoe and oh, look at that. Now I can pass through. Oh yeah, and by the way, as you can see, this barrier hurts. <laughs> so just get through it as fast as you can. All right, so here we are in JD's barn. So that's fun. So we'll go into the first stall here, and this is Domino's stall. Question one, how many swim horses can a non-VIP have? Eight, four, or 12? Yes. I got it right. <laughs> I mean, I would hope I would, but you know. Okay, next we're in Spartan stall. What do you need if boarding an animal? A sign with the animal's name and owner's name, a license to board or pay a fee. There we go. And as I'm progressing, I'm also getting these tools, which is awesome because that's gonna save me time later. Well, let's keep going. And there we go. We made it. Yay. All right, let's pass through here. Oop, kind of hit me a little bit again. Let's see what the quest log says. You paid attention, great job. <laughs> and we'll get our 100 dream bucks. Ooh, I've been getting money this whole time. Go in here. Oh. All right, we just got a lot of achievements. So we're done with this chapter now. So if I go over here, it says complete the tutorial. That's green, so that's finished. Welcome to Jadoria, tour the crossroads. Okay, so now we're gonna begin these quests. So welcome to the crossroads. Welcome to the crossroads where you will find many useful items. And I get three leads. The so next quest, visit the feed and tack store. Visit the feed and tack store where you can find everything you need to care for your horse. Okay, so let's find it. There it is, not too far off. I love all the little saddles and stuff in there, it's so cute. Oh, so I got one part of these tasks complete, but look, for this quest there's two. So here's the first one, the second one is upstairs. And I do think I did some of this, in my video when I came to visit Jadoria. But here's just kind of another reminder for you guys. 
So the quest is finished. So I can accept all of my seeds. And these will be useful in growing your own hay to feed your horses. So next quest, buy an adventure girth strap from Tacman. Tacman is downstairs in the feed and tack shop. Can't miss him. All right. Well, let's go back downstairs and get our girth strap from the Tacman. Hello, Tacman. Adventure girth strap. Thank you very much. Okay, so I have $115 left. Hey, I'm making money pretty quickly, honestly. So let's get our girth strap and our money and look at the next quest. Visit the inn and shop. Okay, so let's come inside. Aw, general man. So we've got a lot of different just general items here. If you don't want to get them yourself, you can come here and buy them. And then yummy foods and drinks that you can buy too. Let's see what that quest gave us. An adventure blanket and then more money. Awesome. Next, buy a deco workshop from Helperman. Okay, so this deco workshop is so useful. It's new to 118. It's this right here. We'll buy one. Now with this quest as well, it didn't trigger. So if I pick it up and put it down, it works. <laughs> I don't know why, but keep that in mind. I did write that in the quest as well. If the quest doesn't complete, move the deco workshop off your hotbar and into your inventory. Even if it's in your inventory, you still have to pick it up and move it. I don't know. Anyway, this deco workshop will turn most any vanilla block into a swim block, decorative block, which makes it very, very useful for survival gameplay for you to decorate with swim blocks. So keep that in mind. Okay, let's see what's next. Visit the realtor and post office. These places will come in handy. At the post office, you can send items to other players by using the blue post bin. But keep in mind, the player does have to have a mailbox placed to be able to send the mail. And in the realtor's office, you can actually purchase chunks. So this is new on 118. On 116, we did not do this. But here at the realtor office, you can come in and purchase more land chunks. This is where you would turn in the tier claims. This side is for registering your property, but that will come into play later. That just triggered. So that was our first task. The second task is to go to the post office. So the post office is right next door, not too far off. And right here, we've got a little horse rest stop. So when people come back to the crossroads, they can give their horse a break. Let them come in here, eat and drink. Since they do that now. <laughs> So here's the post office. Get this quest done. Here you can buy packages and stuff to send to people, some papers and then obviously mailboxes, but don't bother buying a mailbox because you get one for free right here. So you can kind of see how the questing system works. Just make sure you're hitting your home key or you can actually right click the book down here if you want. It's completely up to you but go in there and just complete each one of these quests one by one. And by the time you finish doing all that, you're gonna have a decent amount of money. Not to mention you're getting paid just for being online every 30 minutes. Oh, this is unrelated to the questing, but actually I need to talk about this building. So Helpful Helmets is where we sell our helmets. Now, unfortunately on this server, for whatever reason, our helmets do not stay dyed. When you dye them and you equip them, they turn white again. So Frack, the genius on our server, came up with this idea where you can just come in here. Let me take off my leather cap because I don't want to lose it. But you can come in here and hit the button and it will give you whatever color hat you want on your head. So let's go with pink. So now I've got my pink helmet. So that's nice. I mean, it kind of sucks because every time you want a helmet, you're going to have to come back here and hit the button. Unless you don't care to have a white helmet, then that's fine. But watch when I take it off, the color will disappear. So now the color is wiped away. And when I put it on, it's white again. It's the weirdest thing. I, I really don't understand why it's happening. 
but this is kind of a way around it so that we don't have to have just white helmets. So same thing with the anvil. If it doesn't trigger, pick it up and put it back down and it will work. <laughs> so next we're gonna go to the info center and this is important. So visit the info center and buy a jobs manual. This is really important. The info man has useful manuals to help you on your way. So right here is a jobs board. And there's some kind of silly stuff here, some role play stuff of people wanting to hire you for different jobs. But ultimately, it is a plugin that you can use to get a job and make money doing everyday normal tasks. So here's our different manuals. If you need any information on any of this, I highly recommend you read these because most everything is going to be in them to answer your questions. But let's get the jobs manual and look at it real quick. Need some cash? We have job openings. You can make money easily just by doing daily tasks. This manual will teach you how to use the commands to get employed and start making those dream bucks. To view the list of available jobs, type slash jobs browse. This will bring up a menu of the available professions. Okay. So because I know how to do this, I'll just show you. Slash jobs browse. Here's the menu. These are each one of the jobs that you can choose to take. You can have up to three at one time. So since I'm kind of running around right now, discovering stuff, I am going to take the job of Explorer because this is going to give me money every time I just explore a new piece of land. That's all I have to do. Very easy. It shows you that there's five people currently that are explorers on the server too. So if I left click it, it gives me more in-depth information. Kill, that doesn't pertain to us. We do not offer killing another player, but exploring how much money you'll make. So I'm gonna accept the job for explorer by right clicking. And now I'm an explorer. The second job I think I'll take is probably builder might be nice because I am gonna be building my house. The thing with Builder, it doesn't work with all blocks because some are modded, obviously. It's mostly vanilla, but you can still make a decent amount of money. I'm going to take Builder. And then um, for now, I don't know. I think I'll just hold off on it. But we'll take these two jobs to start. Okay, now that I'm employed, I'm going to start making money just from walking around. Okay, I've got one quest left to do, and that is to find the horse trader. So this is something kind of neat, too. The horse trader will stop by every so often to, with a selection of horses you can purchase. He will also buy unwanted horses from you. The more training the horse has, the more dream bucks he will offer. So yes, we are going to have a horse trader stop by maybe once or twice a month to purchase... Oh, there's a fox! Hello, Mr. Fox. To purchase horses from you. And as the quest says, the higher trained they are, the more dream bucks you will get for them. Okay, this looks like the spot. And there we go. Perfect. Okay, let's check our quest log. And sure enough, we are finished now with the tour of the crossroads. Awesome. So this next part, the dimensions tour, is really important. Okay. Now, we had to have a way to get you into each dimension, and this is the only way I could think about doing it. So, following directions is really <laughs> important here. Unfortunately, when I recorded this, it wasn't recording. I don't know why. So, my waystones are already activated. Yours will not be, though. So, keep that in mind. Now, when you walk up to the waystone, I'm not even going to touch it, and the quest triggered. That's because, technically... To trigger the quest, you don't have to click it, even though it says you do. It's all about where you're standing. So sometimes this can be kind of glitchy. I recommend when you come up to the waystone, obviously first thing you're going to do is click it. Secondly, kind of go around until the quest goes off. You're going to look at this. Now, don't click this until you've got the waystone activated because this is going to teleport you away. As it says, when you find a waystone, click it. That way you can come back later. Don't click the ender pearl until the waystone is activated because it's going to teleport you away. Okay? And then again, like I just said, if the quest doesn't complete right away, just 
run around the waystones. We'll just have people going like this, <laughs> trying to get their quest to go. I mean, it's been acting really good, so hopefully it's not gonna be an issue. But now that we did that, we can go ahead and click the pearl and it's gonna teleport us to the next dimension. <sighs> this dimension is sad. I'm sorry, guys. This is our events dimension and um, it's got a lot of work it needs. Obviously there's floating buildings. Just ignore all that. Don't mind it, it's fine. So let's just go back in here and finish this quest here. And that's gonna give us a bag of sweet feed, which is really nice because our horses do need that every day. And again, we're gonna activate the next waystone. So pretty much this is gonna be a rinse and repeat for these entire quests. The purpose of it is to introduce you to the dimensions and get you these waystones. So again, walk up to it, make sure you click it before anything else, click it, then go into your quest log and you can click the pearl and your money and go on to the next one. This quest is having a little bit of trouble. So I'm just gonna run around. Okay, finally get that trigger and then go ahead and go click the waystone and complete. Some of them might be like that. It's just kind of glitchy, I guess. I don't know. Okay, this dimensions is the Badlands. So this is where you will come when you want to fight things. I'm gonna be adding a lot more quests for this area to make more dream bucks. But this place is dangerous, you guys, okay? So if you read these signs, it kind of tells you a little bit about it. This is the biggest thing though. It's dangerous. Bring your horse at your own risk. There are animals and other odd creatures that can potentially harm your horse, so armor is highly recommended. Okay, let's move on. So again, click the waystone, make sure it's activated. Kind of dance around here, try and get this quest to trigger. Oh, it already finished, I didn't even notice, okay. I still didn't accept these rewards. Whitewash finish, everyone loves whitewash finish. Okay, teleport to the next one. This is going to be our final dimension to show you. This is the farmlands and this is our player house dimension. So first of all, let's accept these rewards. And oh, I gotta click the waystone, dance around again. There we go, finished. Got a crafting table and more money. Oh my gosh, making money so fast. And especially with my job, wonder how much I have now. To check your account, just type slash money. I've got $824 already. That's amazing. Okay, so the next thing to do says, read the signs on the wall in the farmlands. These signs have the basic info you need about claiming a plot and more detailed information can be found in the land claims and party info books in the info center. So again, any questions you have, the info center and those manuals are very, very helpful guides. Claims are only allowed in this dimension or in Eichendale. Eichendale is still a work in progress. It's almost finished. Wolfix Art has done a fantastic job on that city. I've just began adding the quests to kind of explore it, but it is almost ready. So hopefully land will be available to you there. Okay, so before we claim, we need to create a party. So let's start by hitting E, click on the My Team button right here, click on Create a Party, and then I'm going to name my stables Willow Creek Stables and then click create a party and bam, now I have my own party. You can have friends as allies so they can help you with your home because I know it's really fun to play together with your friends, but it's really, really important. Don't actually add them to your party because if you do that and you guys disband for whatever reason, one person's gonna lose all of their chunks. But the good news is you can add your friends as allies, which means they can still interact with your blocks and help you build and everything else. Be warned, invite allies at your own risk. Of course, stealing is a bannable offense, killing another player's animals is a bannable offense, and always be respectful, kind, and of course, have fun. Let's check our quest log. Got some money for that, and now we're done with the dimensions. Now, oh, here's the exciting part. We get to start our ranch. Okay, so first thing, a new adventure awaits. This is already done for me because I've done this on this character before and it did not reset, but it won't be done for you. 
So let's find a plot to claim in the farmlands. All right, let's look for a good spot. Okay, so because I have been on this server before, obviously, <laughs> uh, testing it multiple times, I already do have my claim and my plot. I chose right here. So when it's you, you can either go to one of these and kind of just check out these different areas of the map and then see what's close by. Or you can run down the road. I mean, whatever, <laughs> whatever you prefer. So for me, I am closest to the main hub right here. So I am just going to run down this road to get there. Oh, I just visited a river. Okay, so this is the plot that I chose for myself. So I do have some of the stuff already done. I, I know my land is already claimed, but just to show you how it works, you're just going to hit M, hit this little icon right here. That's gonna bring up this grid, and then you're gonna use your chunks and claim it. So you start with six by six. So it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six. And then another one, two, three, four, five, six, and then all the way around. And now you can see over here, I planed 36 out of 36 chunks. Now that I've done that, if I look at my quest log, it says, place a crafting table on your newly claimed land. And then right here is lay on your bed. But like I said, I already did that because I have been testing this and it didn't get reset. So you're gonna want to lay in your bed that will check that off. And now you're saved to your plot. Then you're going to want to place your crafting table. And now the quest is completed. And now that this is done, it opened up this whole string of quests. So let's accept our oak planks and stick. And then this is place your mailbox on your claim. So when you place your mailbox, just make sure you're placing it on your actual claim and not out by the road. For example, I have my mailbox here. Now, ideally it would be placed, you know, near the road, but if I placed it here, it wouldn't be protected. So you don't wanna do that. Make sure it is on your claim chunks. So I'm gonna put some of this stuff away. I recommend you hold on to the horse gear. I don't need a sword and shield right now or bow and arrow, that's for later. But I definitely recommend that you hold on to the horse stuff because before long, you're going to be getting your first horse. Oh, I should be taking the digger job because I'm actually digging. So I'm going to type slash jobs browse. Let's go ahead and take the digging job. Whoops. Okay, now I can dig and I will be making money while I do it, which is great. Crystal River Ranch have some of the best horses in Dreamburg. Teleport back to the crossroads and head south. You can't miss it. Okay, so this is the part that's getting exciting. We get to see what horse we're gonna get. So I get to go into my inventory, click the scroll, and because we've already got our waystones, we can just easily go back to the mainland. And here we are in the crossroads. Awesome. So to get to Crystal River, let's read some of these signs. Crystal River is this direction. So let's just head this way. Pristine Plains. Wonder who owns that? Okay. Oh, I'm starting to get hungry. So obviously there's a waystone. What do we do with waystones? We click them. Click. <laughs> kind of dance around it. There we go. Quest is completed. Let's get our alfalfa bale. Next, speak with Eggman in front of Crystal River Barn. Buy your first horse horse oh my gosh what color coat Ugh, and i need to eat so i can run <laughs> beautiful horse he's drinking some water Ooh, i like this coat too that's really nice oh oh i love that paint oh she's eating and that's a really beautiful horse, too. Oh, my gosh. $1,000 for the, my first horse. How much money do I have? I have $1,212. I made that much money because of taking the jobs. If you don't take the jobs on, you'll end up with around $675 by the time you get to this point. So it just shows you how important it is to get the job. 
And also as a reminder, don't have enough money, get a job. <laughs> okay, are you guys ready? <laughs> I'm nervous, but I'm really excited. Okay, let's see what coat we get. Oh, wrong button. <laughs> okay, ready, set, go. Oh my gosh. It's it's totally Winnie. Oh my gosh. Hi. Okay, let's go ahead and get this weight first. Complete the quest. We get a slow feeder and a green feeder. So we're getting everything we need to get going and taking care of our first horse, which is great. Saves us a lot of money. So next thing to do is to befriend your first horse. This was completed for me because again, I already had the achievement from doing it once, but for you, it won't be. So once you tame your horse, you'll get that stuff. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, okay. Let's not be too mean to me, please. <laughs> Don't be too sassy. Hey, that was easy. Good girl, okay. Yay, I've got my horse. <laughs> oh my gosh. So now we get to begin this awesome adventure together. I really love that horse coat. If that horse ever goes up for sale, I will be interested. Wait, first we've got to see what to do next. So down here, oh, this quest is really important for you guys too. And here's why. Register your new claim by filling out a property registration form. Admins will deliver two free breeding tokens to your mailbox upon completion. Please allow it to one week to receive them. You must have a mailbox, but this is huge because if you take a look at the prices of breeding tokens, they're not cheap. So this is the breeding token guy. $30,000 for the first two, and then it continues to go up from there every time you buy more. They top out at 65,000 for two tokens. So yeah, getting two free ones, really, really big deal. Definitely take advantage of that. So let's go register my claim. Oh goodness, here's the sass. <laughs> let's show you guys how to do that. Put the horse on the lead, use the waystone to go back to the crossroads. And here we are together. So we're going to buy a property registration form. Let's go ahead and fill this out. So please place this completed form in the return bin in the realtor's office. Admins will deliver two breeding, breeding, two breeding, <laughs> two free breeding tokens in your mailbox. Okay, so Minecraft username, I am Jane Dreamberg. Role play name, or my nickname. I mean, my nickname's JD, but you know, my ranch name is Willow Reek stables and the coordinates um let me check so you don't necessarily have to run all the way back to your claim to check you just hit m and down here you can actually change this to the farmlands and then find your claim but my claim is right here willow creek so i'm going to put the coordinates of roughly where my mailbox is so that's gonna be negative 695, 67, and 494. Okay, now that it's finished, you can sign it, name it registration form, and then you're just going to go to this hopper and toss it on in there. And that's it. Now I should be expecting my free breeding tokens soon. Okay, now that that is finished, and this quest will not complete until you get those tokens, so just be patient. And that'll be another $200 as well. So that's awesome. So we can't finish this out until we get those breeding tokens. So there's other quests as well to go visit some more important places on the map. I really hope that it goes off without a hitch. <laughs> Please be patient while we do figure out the bugs. And um, yeah, I hope that we have an amazing time together. We have a lot of big plans. Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope that this little guide kind of helps you in your adventure. And if you're not able to play, I hope that you're able to feel like you're involved because I would love for everyone to be able to join me. Thank you all so much for being here. I appreciate you so much. And until next time, bye guys.